this is an easy question. I will classify the question as a GMAT 600 level DS question in number properties. This data sufficiency question essentially deals with properties of odd numbers, even numbers, prime numbers, very, very easy straightforward concept, right. When the positive integer y is divided by 2, is the remainder 1 is what the question is. We will essentially spend half a minute in the question when you are looking at the question stem. Before we proceed any further, hey, I just wanted to check, have you guys subscribed to our channel? If not, please do so right away and turn on the notifications button. So, you get notified every time we add a new video. And after watching this video, if you think it added value to you, please press the like button. Get started. These are the two statements. Let us look at the statements in a while. Five answer options. Right. We will come to the question. When the positive integer y is divided by 2, is the remainder 1 is what the question is. It is an is question. So, the answer should be yes or no. We know it is a positive integer that is established in the question stem. Positive integers can either be odd or even. If it is an odd integer, right, then when it, that number is divided by 2, the remainder will be equal to 1. You will answer as yes when the number is an odd positive integer. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, all of these numbers, when you divide them by a 2, you will get a remainder which is equal to 1. The number ended up being an even number. The answer is going to be no, because even numbers are divisible by 2. In that case, the remainder is going to be equal to 0. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, divide them by a 2. You are going to get a remainder which is 0. Then the remainder is not 1. Therefore, the answer is no. So, essentially this question, leaving all of these wordy way in which it is worded, right, just comes back to saying, hey, is y odd or is y even? That is what they are essentially asking. The data is sufficient when we have a definite yes or a definite no. Right. Quickly get into statement 1. Statement 1 says, minus 1 raised to the power of y plus 2 is equal to minus 1. Look at it. We you know y is a positive integer. So, y plus 2 is certainly going to be a positive integer properties of negative numbers minus 1 raised to an odd power will be minus 1. Minus 1 raised to an even power is equal to plus 1. Minus 1 cube is minus 1. Minus 1 raised to the power of 11 is a minus 1. Minus 1 square is a plus 1. Minus 1 raised to the power of 10 is a plus 1. Right. We know that minus 1 raised to the power of y plus 2 is a minus 1. Therefore, we can infer y plus 2 is essentially an odd number because any time minus 1 is raised to an odd power is when you are going to get a minus 1. So, y plus 2 is the power that minus 1 is raised to according to the statement. So, y plus 2 has to be an odd number. y plus 2 is odd. y will be equal to an odd number minus 2. Odd number minus 2 is an odd number. 3 minus 2 is 1. 11 minus 2 is 9, which is odd. 33 minus 2 is 31, which is odd. So, y is an odd number minus 2. So, y is essentially an odd number. If y is an odd number, when divided by 2, it is going to leave us the remainder, which is equal to 1. So, the answer to the question, is the remainder 1? Yes, a definite yes. So, statement 1 alone is sufficient. If 1 alone is sufficient, we are down to answer options A or D. Take a look at statement 2 alone. See whether that is going to help us. It says y is prime. Watch out. You know that prime numbers are numbers which are subsets of positive integers, subsets of natural numbers. They have exactly two factors, right? One is a number and the other is 1, right? Essentially, we know that even numbers will have two also as an additional factor. So, typically even numbers cannot be prime numbers prime numbers will have to be odd numbers. That is what we will think is except the first prime number which is a 2. So, if y is equal to a 2, when divided by 2, the remainder is equal to 0, the answer to a question is a no. For any other prime number value that y takes, if y is equal to a 7, it is an odd number, divided by 2, the remainder is equal to 1, the answer is an yes. So, we have a counter example. In finite scenarios, it is going to be yes. In finite scenarios, every time y is a prime number, it is going to be an odd number except one single case when y is equal to 2. That is only even prime and the first and the smallest prime. So, that gives us a no. Others give us an yes. Even if one single value gives us a no, still we do not have a conclusive answer. So, statement 2 alone is not sufficient. 2 alone is not sufficient. 1 was sufficient. So, choice A is the correct answer to this question.